Good morning Year 1. For today's maths lesson, we are learning to make patterns using 2D and 3D shapes. For our anchor, I would like you to think about what are patterns and then using the examples, what do you notice? So pause the video now and have a think. Quite often with patterns, they repeat over and over again. And when we look at the first example, it is going red bead, yellow bead, red bead, yellow bead, and so on. With the second example, it is the size of the fish that is changing. So it is going big fish, small fish, big fish, small fish and so on. And here we've got another example of a pattern and we're going to think about what objects are repeating and what would come next in the pattern. We can see that the pattern is going blue triangle, yellow triangle, blue triangle, yellow triangle and so on. So it is these objects that are repeating. And based on that pattern, we can predict that the next object is going to be a yellow triangle. Here we've got two more examples of patterns. I want you to have a think about what objects are repeating in each pattern and what comes next. So pause the video now and have a go. In this first example, we've got a blue square, a blue circle, blue square, blue circle, and so on. So the repeating pattern is the square and the circle. And based on that, we can predict that the missing, that the next part is going to be a blue circle. With the second pattern, we've got a red square, a green triangle, red square, green triangle, and so on. And by looking at this pattern, we can predict that the next part is going to be a green triangle. We've got a slightly more complicated pattern here. Let's have a look at which objects are repeating and then we can guess what the next part is going to be. So we're working with 3D shapes this time and we've got a cube, cylinder, cylinder, cube, cylinder, cylinder, cube, cylinder, cylinder. So we can see that the repeating pattern is these three shapes. And based on that, we can predict that the next part is going to be a cube, a cylinder, and a cylinder. Okay, so this time I would like you to have a look at the pattern, think about what objects are repeating, and see if you can guess which part comes next. Pause the video now and have a go. Now we've got Pink circle, pink circle, purple rectangle. Pink circle, pink circle, purple rectangle. So we have got three shapes in our repeating pattern. So the missing part which comes next is going to be a pink circle, a pink circle, 
and then a purple rectangle. We've got two more examples of patterns here. Instead of predicting what the next part of the pattern is going to be, we've actually got something missing. So have a look at the patterns, see if you can spot the repeating objects and work out which part is missing. Pause the video now and have a go. For the first pattern here, we have got a cone pointing up and then a cone on its side. Cone pointing up and then a cone on its side. So this is the repeating pattern. And we can work out that the missing part must be a cone pointing up because that comes before the cone on its side, if we look at the pattern. And for the second pattern, we've got a blue cylinder, red sphere, grey cylinder. Blue cylinder, red sphere, grey cylinder, and so on. If we look at the order of the shapes, we know that after a red sphere, we have a grey cylinder. So the missing part must be a grey cylinder. We've got another example of a pattern here. Pause the video and see if you can work out what objects are repeating and what is missing. So the pattern goes two red beads, two yellow beads, two red beads, two yellow beads, two red beads would be next, so we know that the missing object is a red bead, and then we can carry it on. So two red beads, two yellow beads, two red beads, two yellow beads. We know that the next missing bead is a yellow one. Okay, for this question, it says make a pattern using only these shapes. So we've got a red, uh, sorry, a green rectangle, a blue circle, and a purple triangle. So there are quite a few different answers you could have for this question. For my pattern, I'm going to start off with the blue circle. Then I'm going to have a purple rectangle, sorry, a purple triangle. And then finally, a green rectangle. And because it's a pattern, I'm going to repeat it. Okay, so you can see my repeating blocks. This time we need to use the clues um, to create a pattern and then repeat it. So clue number one says the second in the pattern is a triangle. So the second shape is a triangle, I'm going to put that there. The second clue says the first shape in the pattern is a red circle. So I know that it must be a red circle first of all, followed by the triangle. Clue three says the last shape in the pattern is an orange square. And the fourth clue says the triangle is green.
So I've now got to repeat the pattern. So the next shape I need is another red circle. Then I need a green triangle. And finally, an orange square. Jacob is drawing around the 3D shapes below to create a pattern. Here is the pattern he has created. So he's put the shapes onto a piece of paper, got his pencil and drawn around them. What has Jacob done wrong? Explain your answer. So for the triangle, if we look at the shapes here, he must have drawn around the triangular based pyramid to get to that shape. Then he's drawn a square, so we know he must have drawn around the cube because a cube has square faces. And then he's drawn a circle, which tells us he's drawn around the cylinder because that has a circular face. He's then drawn around the triangular base pyramid again. But here we can see that he's changed the pattern. If we look carefully. The second shape is a square. But here he has drawn a circle. So he has made his mistake here with these two shapes. He should have drawn around the cube after the triangular based pyramid and then drawn around the cylinder after the cube. So that is his mistake. So Jacob has drawn the order incorrectly. He should have drawn around the cube after the triangular based pyramid. And then the cylinder after the cube. So we should have followed this pattern again, but he's got these two the wrong way round. These are your silver questions for today. For question one, you need to draw the next two shapes in each pattern. So see if you can spot the repeating pattern and continue it on. Question two, tick the shapes that fit in the pattern. So which of these shapes could fit here? And the same for question B. For question three, you need to draw the first nine shapes in Jack's pattern, which he has described here. And then for question four, you are told about the pattern that Amir has made with the shapes. And you need to see how many different patterns you can make using those shapes. For goals, you've got some problem solving and reasoning questions. Again, these are very similar to the ones we've just been through. And for platinum, you've got some slightly more challenging questions. 